I just got a phenomenal position and permission. Over 200 acres of never metal detected prime location spot. I'll tell you more later. Signal number one was iron. And there it is. I think that uh, it's a piece of metal. So we're at a good start. I got a good 78 signal right here. A real good 78. I'm hoping it is another piece of metal. But as usual, you have to look. I lost my beautiful digger and now I'm using a not so beautiful digger. Do you know what that is? I do. I do not have blue gloves on today so it makes it a little more difficult to see what's in my hand. We shall harvest. Another 75 is right here. Always use your pin pointer to dig with. I think that's even in the instructions. That's laying right on top of the ground under the leaf is. So Target number three, we shall harvest. Six sheets right here. This whole spot seems to be loaded with leaves. Probably because the leaves fell. I think I uh, ground balance on top of my target. Maybe. No, it's not. I thought it was just a, uh, a ground marker in my way, but it's not. So that is a blank. A bigger blank than I'm used to, and I can't read it. But any old head stamp, since they were pretty stout, you can lightly sand that end and you can get a date. It may not be the date you want, but you know, just some wine and roses, whatever it takes. Target number three is iron, and it's large. Possibly too large, but maybe not. It goes all the way over here, and there's a root over the whole top. I don't know who put that root there, but it really, really hinders anything I want to do right here. Sure, I can take my time and do that. Okay, we'll wait. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? We gotta do this a different way. I cut it. See, think about all the, the trauma and the toughness I do not make you sit through. That is a door off of something. We will not, under any circumstances, harvest this gigantic door off of something. We will let it turn back to earth to earth. The next one. I do not know. But we could get all the way back to World War I in this spot. So prepare your person. Picked up a lot more of those little bullets. This is a, a, a 80 right here. 80 is wonderful. Or well, at least they say it is. We'll see. 
one of the good things about it is the ground is wet, which makes it muddy. Which kind of makes it fun, right? That is a padlock of many colors. This says us on it. So that's that's ours or us, I think. I got an 86 right next to us. And I think we shall. Look for. I'm hoping it's just as wet so my hands get even colder. Because that's what's nice. This could be brass. There it is. We want to be a little more precise, even though that's longer. Okay, we need to go back over here to our water hole, wash it out, oh, wait a minute, that says us, well that's, that's me right, this was another 70s, a half 70s, so I'm hoping that it is a most impressive artifact. I'm glad it's in the it's in the mud too. I'm not 100% sure that's it. Somebody buried it deeper. I don't know why people a long time ago buried everything when they got done with it. But they did. There it is. That's the high tone I was getting in the midst. That is a piece of a key to us we shall harvest. I'm not sure how much deeper we're going. That is aluminum. I kicked the, oops, there's a big hole right there. I kicked the leaves back. Here's a something, something, oh there it is, what shall we call it, M7863509 or 9 or 9 or 5 or roger roger, I think that's exactly what that is, we should harvest, this is a 99. It is aluminum. You always need to take a cleaning tree with you. If you forget, then you won't have one. I don't know if that's a round or a square. It is some sort of round. A very large one. I think we will clean it up and have a better gander. I hadn't intended on getting dirty today, but it appears that I've gotten dirty today. So there it is. It is a round of some kind, I think, or either the foot of something. I don't know. It does have a lip, so it could eject it. But I don't know. We will harvest. So my son just called from Kentucky. Sometimes concrete has rebar in it, but at this this signal seemed a little different. So I was hoping something maybe at the base of this, if somebody sat here and decided they didn't want 
something anymore, but he called from Kentucky and said, I accidentally used your credit card instead of the money I sent him for his rent. So you put that together with my daughter at Auburn. That's a lot of rent for me to be paying every month something where I don't live. So everybody knows I'm getting stupid rich off these videos. Nobody watches anymore. There's a piece of metal in there. I'm just kidding. You know, there's not a lot of money. If that thing would move, that's not going to move, is it? That is made to... I don't know. What is that? It's getting bigger, though. And it's got a handle. You know what that is? That's another one of those doors. We're going to let it remain one with Papa Nature. I decided to get away from that thing since I kept pulling out more and more bullets and I'm walking the sawdust trail. It's a uh, 80 signal, but it's long, so I'm thinking it's going to be something that's uh, metal and long, so... Oh, there it is. Look at that. Look at it. So it's not metal. I mean, it is metal. But it's not long. You want to be really, really careful with these. Because... Look at that. I guarantee you that's a one owner. It's pretty short, so there wasn't much in there, but... We shall harvest, nonetheless. I'm getting a lot of signals right here. It's all over the place. It's all 70s. And, uh... I know what it is. The problem is, it's really hard to just walk over signals. Even when you know what they are. I just, I can't wait to get back and look at these more clearly to see if they are World War One or World War Two or Vietnam or Korea. I'll try that at home. I got bugs in my eyes. I don't know how. It's not bugs, it's that. It just put me in the eyeball. Why? Okay, we'll go with two. This is interesting. Exhaust track on painted application. Warning, compound aircraft, Rockdale. That can is in remarkably good shape, isn't it? To be remarkable. I consider it remarkable to be remarkably good shape. Pretty remarkable. I think I'll put it right there. Let it remain remarkable. I got a 75 right there. I'm hoping it's different from the other 1,075s I've got earlier the way to find something is put this where the object is over here doesn't do anything or this or this or this you gotta put it where the object is and it works and I'm still thankful to Uncle Martin for sending me that okay 6,072 of those. I want to try the top of that mountain. It actually looks like that to me, straight up. That's looking straight on. 
So the mountain is up there. I know it's hard to tell, but I'm not going to walk up it. I'm going to drop me off to Mobilia kind of. Well, that's a little different setup. Again, it needs to be cleaned to really see what it is. 30 out 6, 37 6, 50, I don't know. That's harvest. Thank you. I just lifted up this rock. And that's what's under it. One, two, three. Wow, there's a lot. I gotta do something. It's no, it's no secret I'm making reels on Facebook. I want you to go look at them if you get a chance, but if you don't and prefer this longer type video, it's okay. I understand, but if you've got the patience like I do, then a reel may be more your speed. There's three so far. That's so far. We're gonna need a bigger boat. A lot bigger boat. Sorry, you can't see. Oh, there's so many in there. So, let me get my gloves back on. This whole area right here just lit up with the sounds of silence. I don't know how many we've got out of here, but so far we've got that many out of here. Maybe somebody fell down coming down this hill. Maybe they fell up walking up this hill. The crazy part is there are so, so, so many more in here. You think I'm exaggerating, but I'm not exaggerating. I'm not exaggerating. I don't think. <laughs> you get pulled over with this in your car, boy, you're gonna do some jail time right there. Now I'll tell you about it right now. Oh my goodness. You know, I was excited about the first two when we first got here. And then uh, I can just feel so many under there. I feel the head. Push. I'm just kidding. Look at all of them. Can you see under there? I know I should be just digging the top out, but then everything's going to fall over. And, uh, Why? Why? I know what you're thinking. You're thinking I staged this, aren't you? I didn't. I did not. I thought I was getting to the end. Okay, count them. That's not all.
you think that's all, don't you? Watch this. Look at that rock. Like it just had a baby. Watch this. Are you ready? Tell me you're ready. Tell me you're getting into it like I am because otherwise I'm just out here by myself in the woods doing this. I probably have the automatic transmission facility. It's the ATF knocking on my door again. But they're really nice. And and the lady was real nice. They were young. They thought, that's eh, it's okay, dude. You just enjoy what you do. You just don't eat any of those things. And I said, yes, ma'am. I'm not going to eat them. <sighs> Surely that's all right. You know, I may as well get my sleeve dirty, right? Okay, we're going backwards. Now I'm digging sideways. I still feel more. I just, the hole's getting funky. Like a comadina. And I'm gonna pick all this up. And move on. There. That's ridiculous. We'll count them later, but right now. We shall harvest. Houston, we got a problem. I gotta get them out of here. You dig it, you own it, right? Ain't that the old saying? We're left with about three options. The first one is take this 50 pound belt off and dump these out. Oh my goodness. The second option is go back again and get the rest. So, I gotta do that. How many do you think are there? That's not all of them. I'm going back for the rest. I'm gonna continue digging. Um, what do you say? There's, there's eight, right? Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten. I'm guessing at least 150 right now. Let's go back up the hill. The wind's picking up. There's a little nor'easter blowing in an El Nino, if you will. God, there's still a lot here. I don't know. I don't want to just scatter them to the wind. And I'd rather not put 50 pounds of dirt in my man purse. So I'll do it like that. Give it a little sift. I oh, know, it's getting ridiculous. I'm going to get all these picked up, then we're going to dig. Chevelle. One hole, half a bag. So that's a bag and a half so far. I've tunneled with me arm and me hand a pretty good bit. So we'll just chip out around it and take the. Wow, it's like just a cave. I should have been born a badger. Okay. So you gotta get the rocks out. There's one. There's two. I wonder if we're at the bottom. Three. Four, five. No. We may be at the bottom. I kind of hope we are. I still want to go up the mountain. But, um, I 
Rocks, rocks. Rocks, rocks. Rocks, rocks, rocks. Rocks, rocks, rocks. I think we did it. I think we finished it. Now, we've got all of that. We've got a bag and a half. I got to, it's weird, they're different, different ones. So we'll fill the hole so we don't get our wagon stuck in it and move up the hill. Of course that piece of lead did not come from here. So here's the other half bag. That is all. Oh, there's our little best find of the day so we're gonna go up the hill and I'll look around a little bit we'll count these later unless you already know how many are there you watch me pull them out you should have counted them I got almost up there it was really tough to turn around someone put a tree in the way so I'm gonna back up there and I'm gonna put you back here and let you watch maybe it'll be cool maybe it won't be cool Got in a hole. It's as far as I can go. When I walk straight up, that's what I see. The ground. This is. You can't tell how steep it is, but it's pretty steep. Well, the top of the hill was the top of the hill. But I figured before we start cleaning these, I mean, or uh, doing anything with them, we'd look at a couple of dates. We'll start with that one. I want to know. I don't know why they're red either. This is 1890. Oh man, I still can't read it. I got my dog on glasses on. Hold on. This is the way you read it. Then you take a picture and then you zoom. LC 67. So that's Lake City Armory, 1967. So what was that? That's potentially late in Vietnam, right? Okay, there's a different round right there, a different shape. Let's clean it off and see what it says. It says, oh my goodness, I gotta get my phone back out. Hang on, hang on hands are shaking it says nothing because I didn't scrub it enough 
So let's find another one similar to it and see if it cleans up better. Because I want to know. Okay, that one cleaned up better. That one says, <laughs> this is the way you do it. This one says, F5, no, R54. So what, 1954? Hmm, that's an interesting one. So, let's find that super long one. That's going to take a little bit. This, I'm thinking, was just a uh, something to mount something on. Or the one that's complete. It looks more like a hunting round than anything else. And there are a lot of hunters. Huh. How'd you get over there? Or there were hunters in there a long time ago. I haven't been to that spot. It is in, I haven't been, well, been in Mississippi doing this for just for a couple of days. And this was the first day I really got a chance to get out and detect because it's been raining so much. But I don't know where it is, so I think I'm going to count them now. You can wait right there, or we can do this super fly, super fast. That's the other day. There it is. 416. That's ridiculous. But the good part was every one of them, with the exception of what, four or five, were in one pile. Thanks for watching my videos. Here's what they look like kind of clean. All right, hold on. I still haven't found the one that was one solid bullet yet. Ah, that's too cold. Rosy cow. I look a little better cleaned up. I don't know what the red means, unless they're just blanks. Little noisemakers. Now, thanks for watching my videos.